Um, so I, I saw a request for my fragrance collection. And since explaining fragrances on a video where no one can smell them is just like the best idea, uh, we're gonna talk about my perfumes. Also, I just got the new Billie Eilish fragrance and I just figured I'd throw that in there as a, re as a review. So we're doing all of that. <laughs> so um, I just saw that she was launching a fragrance. I've been in the need for a new perfume in the need, like anyone needs a nude, nude, nude perfume, new perfume. Um, I was sick of everything that I had, which is what we're going to like talk about. Uh, so I just, and I saw the bottle and I was like, oh my God, like, it's like a little sculpture. It's absolutely stunning. It's a little beauty. So collecting perfume bottles is something that I just enjoy. So I figured, fuck it, I'll just get it. So the bottle's beautiful, just like I was expecting. Uh, that doesn't really matter. The bottles don't really matter, but like it is so beautiful and I just like wanted it as a sculpture. So if anything, you know, I have already sprayed this. So I, I've sort of like come to a, conclu a conclusion on it. Um, but yeah, the packaging is beautiful. I love it. Uh, the box was really beautiful. It's, he it's heavy, it's weighty. Um, Jesus, this is the wa the wax. What? The box, beautiful, matte gold love. So the fragrance, I'm not going to talk about notes or anything. I'm literally just going to describe these fragrances to you. So get excited. Obviously this isn't something that you're going to travel with. Just saying it's pretty heavy. So the first thing that I smelled was vanilla. Uh, it's very like soft and creamy. It's kind of like, um, hot cocoa, like a creamy hot cocoa scent. It's got a little bit of fresh cream from Philosophy, which is actually one of my one of my fragrances. It's um very cocoa, you know, chocolatey kind of, like a like literally like hot chocolate, like vanilla cocoa. It's soft. It's I would say more feminine than like it's like a it's more neutral kind of, but I would say it leans a little bit more feminine. Um just because of how soft it is, but it has when you once you spray it, it has a like a hint of a Tom Ford vanilla Fatel, which I think is the vanilla, but it's like um, a hint of that Dr Pepper scent, which is exactly what vanilla Fatel smells like to me. So just overall, really quick, like this is gonna be quick because it's like how can you describe perfumes? I, I think it's really nice. It's very soft. It's kind of feminine. I don't know if it's like my absolute favorite because I tend to like a little something a little bit spicier. But if you're looking for something, especially for fall and winter, that's along those lines, like kind of warm, kind of soft, vanilla, you know, but you're not looking for something that's gonna be like too sweet because it's sweet without being, I can't get the cap off now. It's sweet because of the vanilla, but not like too sweet, you know? Um, I think it's really nice, but I, I genuinely just wanted it for the bottle. I was like, I don't even care what this smells like, to be completely honest. Like, if it sucks, it sucks. Who cares? Like, that's gorgeous. Like, love. So I like it. I do like it. Hopefully I described the um, scent well enough for you guys. It's nice. It's nice. Um, since we talked about Tom Ford, I might as well go to this next. So I had talked about, these are really dusty, holy shit. Um, I had talked about other fragrances and someone recommended this. And I was like, and from everything that they described, I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna love this perfume. Um, and I got it and I was like, mm. first of all, it's really expensive. And I got it and I was like, uh, I don't know about this. <sighs> Vanille Fatel, if I'm comparing it to the Billie Eilish fragrance, it's a little bit more sharp. It took me a really long time to figure out what it smelled like. It straight up smells like Dr. Pepper. Like smell a glass of Dr. Pepper. And that's what this smells like. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's obviously got like some vanilla in it. I don't know. It's a little bit licorice-y kind of, obviously, like the Dr. Pepper scent. I am still trying to decide because it has like a little bit of that like powder in it as well. It's like a little bit like sharp powder, Dr. Pepper, licorice, vanilla, that combination of, of um, scents in my opinion. Sometimes I wear it because I think it's interesting, like it's very different. Something that I try to do with my fragrances is buy things that have like a lot of um, similarities so that I can mix them. And I do feel like it kind of like mixes well with a lot of my fragrances. 
For instance, um, one of my favorites, and it was my signature scent for a really long time, was Chloe Nomad. Uh, so this is one that I have talked about a million times. I love it so much. Mm. <sighs> so I did get a little bit sick of this because I it started to smell a little too sweet to me. But the best thing about Chloe Nomad is that it's like spicy. It's warm and spicy, a little bit sweet. There's like a hint of a floral, mm. but it's just like, um, I think that's why it crosses over to like from spring, summer, fall, winter. Like I feel like I can wear this any time of the year. And this mixes so beautifully with so many of my other perfumes. This is definitely like my, I would, if I had to pick a signature scent, it would be Chloe Nomad. It's just so beautiful. It's like warm. It's not too sweet. It's not too feminine, but it is feminine. It's like, it feels grown up to me. This also has kind of that like sharp, like spicy scent as compared to like the Billie Eilish fragrance. The Billie Eilish fragrance is much, just much like softer, more subdued, more, um, a little more powdery, you know? It reminds me a lot of, or it's got a lot of uh, vanilla. Now this is my daily fragrance. This is Fresh Cream by Philosophy. This smells exactly like fresh cream. Like if you went to the store and you just bought like fresh whipping cream, that's what this smells like. It's like only sweet because of the vanilla, you know, it's not super sickly sweet. It smells like clean to me um, because I don't love like, I don't know, whatever else you would consider like a fresh clean scent. Uh, like there's this one by Ralph Lauren, I think that I just don't like. And it's like a fresh, clean, like summery scent. And it's just, it's not me, I don't like it. This is like what a fresh, clean scent is to me. And this layers really beautifully with like all of my perfumes as well. Um, but this is, I mean, it's affordable, it's super affordable. So this is actually like, when I say a daily scent, I put it on literally every day after I get out of the shower. Like I'm one of those people. Like I take a shower at night and I, I put perfume on. Just saying. <laughs> um, sometimes I wear other ones, like if I'm feeling like extra bougie, but this is my like everyday scent. So signature scent for like going out and being dressed up, daily scent, fresh cream. Plus it's like super, it's like, I don't even know how much it costs, like 30 bucks or something. And I, I literally wear this every single day and I feel like it lasts. So just saying, just saying. Uh, next up I have La Labo Centel 33, which became like really ridiculously popular and I'm kind of sick of it, <laughs> but it is just so, I mean, if you don't like clove, cause I'm pretty sure it's got clo clove scent in it, you're not gonna like this, but there's something about it that's just like so unique. There's a reason that it blew up and it became like really, really popular. Uh, this again is very expensive, but it lasts forever. I mean, it says that it's bad after, um, that it lasts like 12 months, but I feel like I've had this for way longer than that and it still smells amazing. But yeah, it's very, it's very clove heavy, um, herb, a little, you know. What I like about this is um, mixing it with other with other um, scents, which I'm gonna get to. I'm gonna talk about the scents that I like to mix, like the majority of these with. I would say that it's maybe a little bit more fresh um, than some of the other ones, like some of the other ones a little bit more warm and spicy. This is a little bit more, slightly more earthy, I think probably because of like the herb scent to it. If you're not into like, uh, herb scents like this is very unisex in my opinion like men could wear men and women could both wear this uh yeah i like I, and i like it for its versatility uh there's like a there's like a hint of lemon or mint something like that it's very herby this is just like i feel like it's a classic and i know and i'm, I'm kind of over it just because like it became super popular and i've also i wore the, the hell out of it um okay next up is uh alien mugler which is um I believe that I ran into Karen at an event, I Love Sari, and I think she was wearing it and I asked her what she was wearing. And I feel like we have the same taste in perfumes. Like every time I run into her, I ask her what she's wearing because it's always like, smell. she smells delicious. So I'm pretty sure that's how I found out about this. This is a little bit like powdery, kind of licorice scent once again. It's a little more sweet. It's definitely more feminine. It's one of those scents where I'm kind of, I go back and forth, where, like similar to Tom Ford, um, Vanille Fatel and Centel 33, where I like, sometimes I get really, really sick of it. And then sometimes I really, really love it. Uh, this is another one that I like to mix with 
the perfumes that I'm going to talk about. But yeah, it's really nice. It's just like sometimes, I don't know, sometimes I go between like loving the way that it smells and thinking that it smells a little bit too immature, if that makes sense. It's also, I don't think it's that expensive. It's like pretty normal for like a perfume. I don't know, it's a little bit more sweet, much more feminine in my opinion. Um, and then as far as like full but full size bottles, dude, all of these are so incredibly dusty. Um, this was a gift from uh, BH Cosmetics. This is Louis Vuitton, the fuck is this called? I can't speak French, it's this one which is probably backwards because I'm filming on my front camera. I don't know, all this stuff will be linked. This is very sweet. This is like a combination of like, to me, it's like cotton candy and like flowers, like very floral, very sweet. Definitely a summer scent. I could not get away with wearing this. I couldn't justify wearing this like in the winter and fall months. It's nice, it's not, it was a gift. So it's like not something that I purchased myself. I've worn it occasionally, but it's just like, kind of intense, like in kind of intensely sweet and it's just not really like my vibe. But if you like something a little bit more like sweet and floral, it's not, I can see you liking it. And like I said, I've, I've worn it like a couple times. The bottle's dope, very clean. All right, now the way that I customize these things is like typically I wouldn't wear like, typically, I mean, sometimes I do this. Typically I wouldn't wear like Chloe with Tom Ford just because they're very rich and I feel like they both kind of like linger, you know, like they last a good amount. Sometimes I will mix Centel 33 with Chloe Nomad. Sometimes I do that. I'll do like a spritz of each. Sometimes I mix fresh cream with Chloe Nomad. One of my favorite combinations is fresh cream with, uh, what is this stuff called? Replica by the fireplace. Rep some of the replica Perfumes are the most amazing. Replica by the Fireplace, which I've definitely talked about before, literally smells like you're sitting next to a fireplace. It's heaven. And as soon as it's fall, winter, this is like what I wear on the daily. This mix is so, be I think I just said this, this mix is so beautifully with fresh cream. Like amazing. It's literally like smelling roasting marshmallows. It's so delicious. Um, so these are my favorite like combo. But what I really like about this fragrance right here is that it doesn't smell like it's for, it's like completely unisex. Like it's a very unique scent. Like I said, it smells exactly like you're sitting next to a fireplace. So you can add this to pretty much any of these perfumes to kind of like tone it down. Like if it's a little bit too sweet or something like that, it just kind of like grounds it a little bit more and it adds like a little bit more depth to it. So that's one of my favorite things. I had a full size bottle of this and I think that it expired. And then I ended up picking up um, the travel size just because I was traveling. Oh, but this is like magical. It's like incredible how they literally like bottled that scent and put it in a perfume. But yeah, I'll mix this with literally any of these. And I actually think it'll smell so nice with um, the new Billie Eilish fragrance. So that I'm excited about. Um, also by Replica. Well, I have I have this one from Replica, which I'm actually not that big on. This is Jazz Club. I don't even know how to describe this. It's like a little too powdery and like boring to me. Like it smells, it kind of smells like an old woman because of the powder, I think. I'm not wild about it. I don't love it. Like I, I read the, I got the um, travel size cause I read the description on sephora.com and I was looking for a new perfume and I got it and I was kind of like, I don't know if I like this. And I ended up keeping it and like, it's fine. It's kind of somewhere between like Centel 33 and by the fireplace, if you can picture that, but like a little more powdery and a little more like perfumey, kind of like, it just smells like an old lady. I don't know. I don't love it. I don't love it. It smells like, it makes me think, cause I like jazz club, it makes me think of like old women in like the 50s, 20s. Old women in the 20s. That's what it makes me think of. In like those kinds of clubs, I don't know, whatever. Um, but then there's Autumn Vibes, which is another one that I really love. And this is like very similar to La Labo. Like it definitely has clove, but it's a little less intense. Yeah, it's pretty much like very similar to La Labo, but it's a little bit more um, soft. It's a little more toned down. Centel 33 is a little more sharp. 
So it's just like very intense. Like if you're not going for clove, like you're not gonna want this one. Um, but this is like kind of a way to dip your toes. It's kind of like a combination of like a softer Centel 33 with like a hint of by the fireplace. Like it's got a little bit of that like musk to it, which is really nice. Um, and something that I have also been doing recently when I don't want to smell like sweet, when I want it to be like a little bit more like um, just kind of a neutral scent, I mix these two. So by the fireplace and uh, what is it called? Autumn Vibes. And that's a really nice combination. Um, but any of these little guys, uh, actually that's a good point. I haven't tried mixing this with anything, but I just kind of feel like since all my other perfumes are kind of intense, it would just, I would just end up smelling like really gross if I tried to mix this with anything. This is Jazz Club, whatever. Um, anyway, so I don't know if this was interesting. Those are all the perfumes that I own and how I wear them. And uh, I hope that I described them really well since you can't smell them. I feel like my description of scents are like pretty good. But if you got the new Eilish fragrance, please let me know what your thoughts are. I love the bottle, I think it's stunning. And I'm excited to like mix it with other scents. Um, and if, I'm, if I can re recommend any scent for just like this time of year, by the fireplace, man, that is the one. All right, that's it, I'm gonna go. Um, let me know if you have been enjoying these videos. I've literally just been filming with my window light, which is why it changes <laughs> over time. And uh, on my, literally, this is the front camera of my phone. So let me know your thoughts uh, and let me know what you wanna see next. Bye. Wow, I feel sick from smelling all those perfumes.